Taekwondo, an age-old craft that demands discipline, control, power. The thing I love about Taekwondo is you can get a lot out of it and it's fun to meet new friends and meet new people. Uh, I really love Taekwondo for the balance of fitness and health and just the sake of having to control your body and your mind. The rules, courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self-control and spirit. I've been doing it for six years now. I'm ten now, so I was four and a half when I started. Hours are spent training, giving blood, sweat and tears to achieve their dreams. Go! My aspirations are to go to nationals and win and probably go to Worlds and do well. And if I could make it to the Olympics, I'd be so excited. Obviously, a sport like this should only be attempted under professional instruction while wearing the correct safety gear. This is not one for the lounge room at home. One of the group has trained her way to the top elite level of the sport. Hi, I'm Janine. I'm the number one in Australia for the sport of para taekwondo. And what makes it even more challenging and interesting is that I have a disability and I suffer from multiple sclerosis. This sport knows no boundaries and just like its participants, it knows no limits. For the first time in 2020, Taekwondo will become a Paralympic sport, with Janine setting goals to compete. Janine, these are some very impressive goals you're working towards. Take me back to when you and Taekwondo were introduced. I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis at the age of 25, and at that point in time, I was a HPE teacher for high school, I was a goalkeeper for soccer, I played netball, I played tennis, and I couldn't play those sports anymore. Mm -hmm. So a friend suggested that I take up Taekwondo, and I've never looked back since. Amazing, and you certainly, you work very, very hard. How does it, um, how does it differ for you having MS? Yep. Well, MS is where your own immune system attacks the brain and the spinal cord. So that means I have a lot of altered sensations and it results in my body not working the way it should do. You obviously know when those sensations are coming on. How do you, you basically know how to deal with it? Yeah. Um, at this stage, um, I've got a, a cooling regime, so I have ice vests, I have ice spray, I know when... I noticed uh, you've got a little fan. I've got a little fan. Um, so everything is about keeping that body temperature nice and cool. Seeing a para-athlete in their chosen field is a remarkable thing, but naturally it does come with some questions. Thankfully though, Janine is very happy to share her experience. What is your ultimate goal in para taekwondo? To get the trifecta. I've got the Commonwealth Championship gold medal, I've got the World Championship gold medal, so I'm really after that last one, which is the Olympic gold medal. I also want to be able to have as many people with disabilities be able to actually try para taekwondo and know that it's okay to be able to try it and to achieve something. What's been the best part of your taekwondo journey? I'd have to say the best part of my para taekwondo journey is the family aspect that we have here at Tans Corumban. I get to train with anyone who I like, so it's not just seniors, it's not just juniors. I get to train every day. As an athlete at the top of your game, what advice can you give to these up and comers? To have resilience. So even when they get knocked down, to get back up. It's not about having excuses and letting those excuses rule what you want to do. It doesn't matter what happens, you get up, you keep going. This sport gets its name from the Korean language. Take it away, guys. Tae means the foot. Kwon means the hand. Do means the way off. And so it just means the way of the foot and the fist. When people compete, it's not actually fighting, but more about the technique and skills of this martial art. Looking the part, wow. I'm feeling good. Hey, okay, Stacey, now that you're looking good, you're a white belt, you gotta hold this for me. Okay, so I'm not just here looking good, I'm actually gonna work for this. You, you got, you're going to work. I've seen you so. in action, so just hold this tight. Just hold it tight, one foot back so that you're nice and stable. Uh -huh. And I'm just gonna come through and kick. You ready? Yep. Ready. Give it to me. Oh. <laughs> that was one uh, more. Yeah, one more. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, keep going. That's the, that's the start, and that's the very first start for a white belt. Oh. Okay. 
spray it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I get one more, one more. One more. Okay, one, one more. One more. Oh. <laughs> okay. I've got to Should say, go? I've got to say, Janine, you are an absolute inspiration. I've learned a lot today, but um, obviously a long way to go for a, a white belt to get yeah. to your level. And you have inspired so many people. And like I said, no excuses, resilience, yes. keep on going. Life lessons here. <laughs>